cheeky crumbs. Today we're gonna to be making a gorgeous and fluffy chocolate and coconut cake. Yum! And I'm making this for my husband's birthday, which is very soon, and he loves this cake. So let's get started. What you're gonna need, two dots. 250 grams of all-purpose flour, 170 grams of butter, two eggs, half a teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda or baking powder, 240 grams of yogurt or buttermilk, 330 grams of uh, brown sugar, one vanilla essence and 60 grams of cocoa powder. And for the frosting, you're gonna need 450 grams of icing sugar, 170 grams of butter, 450 grams of cream cheese, 60 ml of boiling water, and 225 grams of coconut flakes. Start by preheating your oven to 180 degrees Celsius. In a large bowl or in your kitchen robot, cream your butter. So you're just gonna put your butter in and let the mixer work until it's nice and creamy and smooth. Once your butter is nice and soft, you're gonna pour in your brown sugar and beat on medium speed. Next, you're gonna add one egg at a time and beat on low speed until it's well incorporated. In a large bowl, you're gonna mix your flour, cocoa powder, baking soda, and salt. You're gonna now add your vanilla essence and one third of your flour and cocoa powder mixture. Now you're gonna beat on low speed and you're then gonna add a third of your buttermilk, beat on low speed, another third of your flour mixture, beat on low speed, another third of your buttercream, be on low speed and so on. <laughs> now with a nine inch or 23 centimeter tin, um, line it just with some butter and some flour. And we're now gonna pour our batter into the cake tin. And make sure you spread it out as evenly as possible. And you can always try and make a little hole in the center and this will avoid getting the muffin top look from the cake. So it should come out a little straighter. And since the batter the, is quite thick, you can do this with this cake. You're now gonna place your cake in the oven for about 40 minutes to an hour. You need to do the little skewer check and when it comes out clean, the cake is ready. Once you take your cake out of the oven, let it cool completely and in the meantime we can make the frosting. In a large bowl or using your kitchen robot, place your icing sugar and pour in your boiling water and mix on low speed. Next you're going to add in a piece of your butter and mix on low speed. Next, you're going to pour in your cream cheese. If it comes out the tin. And add another two pieces of butter. And mix on medium high speed. Once your frosting is nice and fluffy, you can place it in the fridge and we're gonna focus on the cake next. Oh, here is our cake! Yay, and it doesn't have a very big tummy. And since we're gonna cover it all, it's okay. We just need to cut it in two, and I'm gonna use a cutter, or you can use a knife to do it. With the cutter, you simply place it on the table, and it's very soft, and it goes through the cake and creates two slices of cake. Yay! Here we go. Place one 
slice of cake on a stand that you want to serve it on and take your buttercream out of the fridge and just plop it on give it a good generous layer and spread that evenly next you're gonna take your coconut flakes and just gonna sprinkle them on onto the layer of buttercream I found these they're more like coconut shaving they're quite small as you can see and you can find bigger flakes but you can use whichever you prefer really next we're gonna take our top layer of the cake and lace it on top Yay! make sure it's centered and now we're gonna cover the whole thing the top and the sides with the buttercream and if you want to make this cake very perfect you could have cut the top and made it really straight but I'm just making this for my husband's birthday so I'm just gonna eat it um, for his birthday so it doesn't have to be perfect it just needs to be delicious and pretty enough to serve and it just needs to kind of look good on the plate but perfection is not what we're after today <laughs> so yeah rustic look <laughs> Once your buttercream has been laid on, you're gonna take your coconut flakes and cover the cake with them. All the way on the top and all the sides also. And it looks so cute and fluffy. So here it is, my coconut and chocolate cake. And it looks super snowy and fluffy and white. Super happy. So I have cut a slice of the cake and I think it looks so beautiful. The contrast with the chocolate cake and the fluffy coconut on top. And I think it's time to taste it. Yum! So here's my little slice. <laughs> You can taste the coconut first and then it ends with the chocolate and then you get the coconut again. It is really yummy. So I hope you enjoyed my video and if you did give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more and I'll see you next time. Bye!